Okay, now there are various factors which changes uh, the uh, sorry uh, which influences the price last year of demand, price proportion of the income spent on the good, how much people are spending the money on that good. If it is big chunk, so then it will have more effect, otherwise less. How many substitute it has? We have already discussed. There are a number of substitutes. So if you decrease the prices, then you can attract other person other uh, um, you can say you can attract those customers which who are using others product and if it's a vice versa then you have to keep on uh, you can say noting down these things if, if your product is necessities then in that case you have to see because necessities are relatively inelastic right people have to use it so they cannot decrease or increase much of it right so they will be using almost similar kind of amount so that will affect the price elasticity what are the habits of people that also affects which time you are changing is it peak time off time right so it also affect the elasticity of demand in peak time people are uh, like they, the product becomes less elastic or inelastic because people have to use it right so but in off seasons or less peak season they might not be using that right and similarly in which market you are operating okay the government of the country c divide sorry provides free medical treatment to all its citizen however more influent season the small charge is made if they need medication government has recently decided to increase its discharge by moderate amount to reflect the increasing cost of medicine what effect is this likely to have on the demand of the medicine within that country what will be the effect see what do you think so little ponder on it revisit the video watch it again and then link it right i'm not going to tell you the answer you have to do it yourself right okay the second was cross elasticity of demand cross elasticity simply means when there is a change in the price of one product and it is going to affect the demand of other product that is called as change in the cross elasticity of demand like the there is a quantity uh, change in the price sorry percentage change in the price of good b affect the percentage change in the price of good a means there are two goods right that is called as cross elasticity of demand like for example butter with respect to margarine right is 1.5 percent the price of the margarine falls by six percent for example we can estimate that the demand for the butter will increase by how 1.5 multiplied by 6 percent is equal to 9 percent so means you see when there are when there are substitute products usually so there is a cross elasticity of demand there is another type of good which is called as complementary goods have you ever heard about it complementary complementary goods are those goods which are used together like car and petrol right so if you use the car and if it's a fuel driven petrol driven so you have to use the petrol as well when the price of the cars increases so what will happen the demand for petrol will decrease yes when the price of car increases people will less people will buy car means the demand for car decreases when there is a less demand for the cars automatically automatically there will be less demand for petrol now this change in the demand for petrol is because of the change in the price of car not because of the petrol that is called as cross demand and the degree to which these changes occurs will be called as cross elasticity of demand see so what happens uh, you need to remember that cross elasticity between butter and margin will be positive there is a positive elasticity between substitute good when there is a price of margin went down the demand for margin rose and the demand for butter fell down you see in short when the price of pepsi increases the demand for coke will what will increase you see so price of pepsi increased so what happened people some people left the pepsi so mean demand for pepsi decreased and they joined the coke so the demand for the coke increase so both both are moving in the same direction so you see price of butter if increases so people will use less butter 
and demand for marginine will increase. So, you see both the variables are moving in the same direction. So, we say what? There is a positive cross elasticity while in case of complementary good it will be negative. You see as I mentioned if the price of car increases, so due to that demand for car decreases and hence petrol demand also decreases. So, increase in the price of car leads to decrease in the demand for petrol, so negative relationship. So, you need to remember such type of questions may be asked in exams as I mentioned right. In case I see central gas heating system and gas are complementary goods, so the demand of for gas is also likely to rise. So, in this case the cross lattery of substitute is positive and for complementary it is negative. 